Welcome to the Shake Up Podcast. I'm your host and co-founder of Mr. Consistent, Jared Bell. This is a podcast where we invite friends of the brand into our studio. We get to know their story a little bit better. We chat all things business, culture, and marketing, all while shaking up a few cocktails. This week on the Shake Up Podcast, we have Emma Sweeney and Matt Jamison. The Gold Coast couple are known for pushing the boundary and kicking goals. Emma is the founder of In The Game PR, a digital marketing and PR agency. Maddie is the founder and creative genius behind RenderX. We get to know Emma and Matt as a couple and we learn about their individual hustles and how they've now come together to be one team and one dream. Their story is equally entertaining as it is inspiring. The drive, passion and work hustle behind this Gold Coast couple is unmatchable. Before I give too much away, let's get stuck into the episode. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of The Shake Up. This week in the studio, we have Emma Sweeney Woo! and Matt Jamison. Woo! Welcome <laughs> to the studio. We've already already had a Margie. Yeah, yeah but cheers, guys. Let's fucking go, Tom. Cheers, cheers. Right. cheers. All righty. Thanks for coming in, guys. You guys are Goldie Locals. Mm-hmm. You work in Burley. Work in Burley, yeah. Yeah. My, my showroom's in Burley. Yeah. Um, we live in Burley. Live in Burley. Yeah. My office is in Mermaid Beach, but yeah, all very, very or close. Or very local. Yeah. Well. This is nice and easy. I hope you caught an Uber because we're going to have a couple of drinks. <laughs> yeah, we didn't actually. Either. We'll pick it up Sunday. Huh? <laughs> pick it up Saturday. Maybe <laughs> Monday. <laughs> Maybe Monday. No. Guys, um, I'm going to start with you, Emma. What do you do? Like I know like I know what you do, but let's let the yeah. people know what you do. Well, I do a few things actually, but my core Monday to Friday is I uh, um, own In The Game PR. Yep. It's a marketing and digital yeah. agency. Um, yes, we are in Mermaid Beach, but we have clients, you know, I had a client in Dubai, Australia wide, and we're really kind of focusing on, I guess, not the old school PR, but what's happening now. Everyone yeah. needs to be on social media. So we're really trying to push the influencer outreach out there and also making the brand, you know, making sure it's all lined up. Yeah. So and you guys do a bit perfect. of, um, you guys do a bit of influencer, like you work with influencers yeah. and you work with the businesses, like the brands. Yeah. So... I definitely just work with the companies. Yep. And then what we try and do then is brainstorm once a month who we want in, yep. who's going to work with us. So not necessarily manage the influencers, yep. but I get the right influencers in for the company. Yeah, cool. Yeah. And what, uh, how long have you been doing that for? You've been doing it for a little while? Um, funny story. I guess it's been, what, maybe not long ago. Oh, yeah, it's two and a half years. Yeah. Three years. Yeah, it's yeah, two it's and a half, three years. years. I remember yeah. – um, I was doing brand and marketing stuff for the collective and you came in and you did an event up on the rooftop there. That's the right. That was for Esme yeah, Skin yeah. Minerals. Yeah. 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 So you've been doing it for a little while. Yeah. And love it. Yeah. It's um, it's awesome because my clients are so vast and so different. Yeah. And it just doesn't feel like a job because it's just fun. And just seeing the reward. Yeah. yeah. Because influencers work. Absolutely. They yeah. Do. Yeah. Oh, can, can confirm. <laughs> can confirm. <laughs> Swipe up. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Maddie? Um, so I'm a renderer. Yep. And um, I've been rendering. You don't look like a renderer. <laughs> he doesn't, eh? I love it. I'm a tradie inside. So yeah. He's I wearing s- pluggers underneath that. <laughs> Footy shorts as well. <laughs> West Tigers. Yeah. Up the Tigers. Up the Tigers. So I started rendering when I was 16. So left school, um, first job I could sort of pick up was rendering. Yep. And um, got into that. And I grew up in a small town on the far south coast of New South Wales called Tarthra. Yep. And then I ended up going to schoolies with um, <laughs> a few of my mates that finished year 12 and then came back and didn't have a job. Saw the meter maids and wanted to move <laughs> up. <laughs> so <laughs> came, came back and got um, sort of let off because I guess I did leave at a busy time and yep. went up there. And then um, two weeks after I got back, I packed my ute and um, drove See on up here. Arthur. Didn't, didn't, didn't know one person and... Um, <laughs> Awesome. Just went for it. And then, yeah, continued my apprenticeship and ended finishing that. I finished it when I was 20. Yep. And, um, yeah, just kept, kept slugging away at it. And you guys now have sort of combined forces to do a cut. Like, you got lots of projects going on, but the main project would be, like, Render X um, and Object X. Yeah, that's and saying it. those two things. Yeah. And you kind of saw, I guess, you, you how do you guys meet, like, how did you guys meet? Like, did the business <laughs> did business come before pleasure or to pleasure? No, <laughs> like, yeah, definitely, not, Mate, definitely not. It's uh, funny. It's uh, I'll, ha- I'll actually three guesses. Where do you reckon we met? Justin Lane. Oh, oh my god! god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to oh, oh, yes. Boots, you yeah. got yeah. it. Because I, I like I've clear like I've 
had Are you my fair share. No, I've had, my, I've had my fair share at Justin Lane's and I've seen yeah. you dancing on the tables. You're the only one <laughs> dancing on the table. Yeah, probably backflipping, no issue. <laughs> Three, two, one, high kick. Um, no, but we, yeah, we met at Justin Lane through mutual friends. Um, funny story, we got talking that night. I was like, God, 6'3", surfy looking guy, my style. Didn't really give me much, did you? <laughs> high and by, but. Yeah, high and by. And then I was like, hey, the next day, I think we exchanged Instagrams or something, or I started following Sli- him. Slid up in the DMs. And I said, hey, because we actually got along, we were talking for hours because we had mutual friends, everyone was sitting there. We literally sat next to each other at the Justin Lane little table. Thank you, little handhold under the table. I remember that one. Oh, shit. I, I wanted more. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. No, but Not on then, the first date for me. Yeah. Yeah. No, you were so reserved. And um, then the next day I was like, all right, if I want to hang out with him, you know, I don't want to – I know that I'm confident. Yeah. And I liked him and, you know, I'd been single for a while. I was like, let's just go for a date. So I asked him, I said, oh, um, you know, thanks so much for last night. It was great. Thanks for the hand, Bob. Yeah, loved it. <laughs> um, tradey hand. Um, and then she I said, the let's. And, <laughs> <Where are we? laughs> and then I said, let's go for ice cream. And his response was, hey, yeah, don't like ice cream. <laughs> it, to this day is his favourite food <laughs> so, I, I, was, I was nervous I didn't know what to do Had this beautiful girl ask me on a date A lot better looking than anyone that oh. used to ask me Oh but, um, stop it I didn't know where to take her I was like do I take her to Rick Shaw's or the bakery or KFC <laughs> Like do I take her What's to the like Goldie the fanciest it? thing in the world <laughs> I just didn't know what to do, so yeah. I, I, I postponed it. I put it off, but I knew she'd be back at Justin Lane. So, tactically, yeah. a few weeks later, I never really went there before that. I think yeah. it was like the first time I went to the yeah. rooftop bar. Yeah, and I was like, "All right, I'm going." <laughs> Walk, walked in there. There she was in the back corner. Doing back sure. yeah, again. Yeah, back enough. corner. I know yeah. the spot. And I, worked, <laughs> I, I worked my courage up, and then I walked over, and then we got up, and she goes, "Oh, you know." So nice to meet you the other night, but I think we'd just be really good friends. Like we should hang out being friends. Yeah. And like, I was like, cool. My heart just <laughs> broke. That's, why I'm not, the, that's not why I at came. At the same time, I was like, <laughs> all right, that's cool. <laughs> and then that was it. I think we just started talking from there and it progressed. But what I loved about Matt is just so chill. And I guess I'm not. <laughs> as you can tell. It's just different personalities. And I just think that, we actually work so well together. Like I can be chill and I love the ocean and do all those things, but, you know, he chills me out and then I fire him up. So it's just yeah. perfect balance. Opposites attract. And yeah, that's it. You that's don't it. really see that from the start, but we obviously had that chemistry and, yeah. you know, now Bob's your uncle. Yeah, good. And yeah. then you guys sort of started seeing each other for a little while and then the, the Object X thing or like – that came down that the track. Came down yeah, the track. track yeah. It was more we didn't jump onto each other's no. businesses straight yeah, away. It was no. more like you're doing what you're doing, that's cool. Yeah. I'm doing what I'm doing. Very yeah. much so. And then it wasn't until we moved in with each other, which yeah. was probably, you know, we met Six, we, seven we months met after in August. We started dating in like December seventh. December. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Do you remember that date, Dom? Yeah, December seventh. <laughs> Okay. Check it in the calendar. <laughs> oh, <right. laughs> and then we moved Zero. in. We moved in together in probably like the April or yeah. May, and that's yeah. when we sort of really, you know, we're living together. We're like, All right, that's this when, is what we're doing. That's when, yeah, I reckon that's when it really came about. And I guess that's when your stuff really took off in terms of, you know, there was, I guess, maybe two and a half years ago, Gold Coast has changed and it's evolving and it's amazing, and you know, there's new bars and so many things popping up, and everyone wants cool stuff yeah and so when i guess matt did a few little things and you know we were living together he was on the tools all the time so if i had staff at the time it was perfect for me to just go right let's start doing the books yeah i know that you know during my background i'm very ocd you know the quotes are you get it you want something it's that day yeah you get a call back you know, so I said, right, Matt, if you're that, why take you away from the tools when that's what you're talented yeah. with? And let I think that's when the team... Yeah, really it went, I went from a little one-page quote saying 30 metres. 30 by X 30. X amount of Pluggers, dollars. 4X gold. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> we take <laughs> cartons as payment. <laughs> that's exactly right. But yeah, Emma, Emma fully transformed my business. Like now my quotes are sort of like no other. Oh, thanks. Um, so. I guess the whole structure around the business, you know, being a renderer, you know, renderers are sort of like, you know, in a nutshell, you got your painters, your renderers, your concreters, yep. everyone. You're down the barrel. 
we're at the bottom of the food chain in a sense. But, yeah, um, yeah. you know, there's no young kids that want to get into a trade these days and be mm. a renderer or be a tiler or a bricky. Like, yeah, bricky. They, 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 just, they just want to be a builder or a plumber or a sparky. Or a yeah. property developer. Yeah. Or a property <laughs> developer. I don't know. They don't even want to swing Yeah. <laughs> but, um, you know, what I'm trying to push is to try to get younger, the younger generation into the industry that I'm in and to show them there is a better side of it. Yeah. And, you know, you can get artistic and creative with the whole mm. thing. And that was sort of the benefit with me, you know, as soon as I found out about this side of rendering, I started my business when I was 23 Yeah, and saw, you know, this Did new you started when you moved to the, up to the Goldie? No, nah, so like I moved up when I was 18 Yeah, and then, and then finished my apprenticeship, and then just worked was like for someone out. for a yeah. couple of years and yeah. then, so I'm 29 now, so I've had it for six years. Six years. Mm. But when I was 23, sort of found out about this side of, decorative. you know, decorative rendering and it yeah. was really new. So new. So I just sort of grabbed it and ran with it. I, you know, did a few boards on some samples. I was just rocking up to like job sites around the Gold Coast. Even, didn't you do like, you rented your fridge? Rented the fridge, washing machine, coffee table. I was like addicted <laughs> to it. Right? It was like a new decorative salad. It was like every, every weekend <laughs> I was like, wax what on, can I wax do? Off. What can I do? Like, what can I render? It, w- it went from being like <laughs> I'm not joking. a That's hobby sick. to you know, a full-time job. Because I talked mm. about it, I pushed it. I was probably annoying. You know, I'd be out somewhere. I'd be like, this is what I can do. Oh, you're Next so good is like what I can that. do. But, you know, once, once it got established, I, mm. I guess I'm still like that. I'm still pushing it. But Yeah, um, but what I love about him too, though, like we'll meet new people and they'll, you know, you get to a conversation now. It's not what makes you happy anymore. It's like, what do you do for work, you know? Yeah. And it's, it's shit, but it is what it is. And it, Matt will always say he's a renderer. That's the, um, you know? That's <laughs> a good, that, like I've noticed that, like on the Goldie, yeah. everyone's like, what business do you own or who, what do you do? Like they want to know. Where in Sydney it's a little bit different. They're like, who do you work for? I know. Like it's, yeah, it's such a yeah, weird, yeah, true, like true. he's like really entrepreneurial. It is. Everyone likes to own their own business. So yeah. when you go to Sydney and they talk, it's completely different um, Yeah. talking point. But yeah, literally like I love it. That's sick. Yeah. Like, that's it's so awesome. Cool. It's awesome. No, he's um he's very, very good at what he does. You're very talented. That's for oh, sure. Thought we'll get into, well, I want to get more into that a little bit later on. How do you guys find working with each other now? You love it? Yeah, it, it's, oh my God, it has its challenges. <laughs> oh, it's, it's hard. My wife's a general manager, so. Yeah. <laughs> oh, really? No, hey. oh, we feel you. Yeah, we feel you. <laughs> it's just, I've actually, in the last two weeks, just the financial year, I have taken a step back from in the game. Yep. I had six staff, Mermaid Beach office, trying to be this alpha female, which is awesome, and I love it. Female empowerment is so up my alley. But it took a point where Matt is booked out till, 20, you know, this year. Yeah. And we get home and it's routine. So it's like, okay, we get home, then I've got to do his books. Yeah. Because I've done the full time. And then it's, you know, the cooking, the cleaning, the washing. It turns into this routine, which everyone has and everyone yeah, yeah. does. But where's that like point of balance? Love and balance. And then, mm. you know, even that sexual drive, it's like you're just tired. Yeah, you fucking mean you've been out rendering all day. Yeah, mate. You, you come home from work and then you've been <laughs> you know? on th- like thirty phone calls, like however yeah. many oh, phone mate. calls you have every day, and then it you're doesn't home, stop. You're just, it's all about making time. Like, yeah, that's the number one thing that me and Chris do is we try and make time for each yeah. other, and like we've yep. got a little girl as well, so throw a kid oh at me, yeah. and you're like, yeah. We, yeah, you both work all day. We have all, yeah. like she goes to work before I do. I she picks Lola up, and then you kind of get to a point where you just like you get home, you're like. Like now someone's got to cook and then the other person's you know, got to clean. And then you're like, hard. put the kid to bed and you're like, oh, I, I fall asleep before the kid falls asleep. No, mate, yeah. really? oh, so and she's like, yeah, she's freak. like rolling over, kicking me. No. I'm like, yeah, I'm asleep. But yeah. But yeah, no, Balance. we, we do have a great working relationship. We, we do. We do, yeah. It's, it's not perfect, but I mean, from what we've created in, you know, we haven't even been together for three years. So it's pretty, pretty cool, cool. Yeah. Um, and I'm looking forward to the future. But, um, yeah, it definitely has its days, but so does everything. Absolutely. I, yeah. I, lo- I love it when we get in the boardroom and me and Carissa go <laughs> backwards and forwards and everyone's like, fuck, this is getting awkward. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hot time, <laughs> date night. Crazy. Yeah, this is getting heated. <laughs> Siri, Siri makes a Kelly some pin. Yeah. So funny. Yeah. Anyway, is there anyone – we're, we're going we're gonna to do the speed test. Yeah, I'm oh, pumped. My money's on Emma. 
Oh, Just because she's feisty. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I, I am the cocktail maker in the house. So. Yeah, you're the cocktail maker. You're the bullshit, baby. You use this. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's what we're like, using. So he's, uh, he's, he's, he's got a leg he's, up. Okay, I maybe reckon I'm, he's got a leg up. All right, maybe my money's so on you now, okay. Maddie, I reckon. I reckon we'll, <laughs> we'll, we'll turn up the heat. I'm, I'm t- changing my bet. <laughs> but we're going to transition to the speed test, see how fast you make cocktail. Anybody on the board that you want to beat, you had a look at the Yeah, I've seen it and it's a tough gig. It is a tough Is there anybody on? I want to beat Fawzi. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I'm I'm Fawzi. Fawzi. All right, we'll get you above Fawzi. What's 20, 2760. 2760 wow. for Fawzi. The dead man Fawzi. I'm proud that the co owners of this joint um, is at the top. Yeah, it'd be pretty embarrassing if you weren't. Yeah, well, I'm surprised Jared hasn't told you and asked who's at the top. It's me, it's me, it's me at the top. Oh, but it's I'm, fake numbers, I'm mate. I'm not even the bartender in this business. Like <laughs> Mikey's the guy. I love it. But I'm I'm a bit more calculated and I'm a bit more. Uh, yeah, but the Valando boys did good. Yeah, the Valando yeah, boys did would. good yesterday. They would. But let's bring it on. Um, but yeah, we're gonna see how fast you can go. Fawzi is twenty seven sixty. That's what we're gonna aim to get you above. <laughs> speed <laughs> te- honestly, the speed test is just it's about a bit of good fun. Show how fast you can make our products. Yeah. Yeah. See how quick, quick you can make it and then see how quick you can drink it. <laughs> yeah, <sweet. laughs> All right, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we've got Emma's going to go first. Woo! The trick is 75 mils of mix, 45 mils of tequila, ice, five shakes, strainer. Do not forget the strainer. I'll add time onto you, oh Tom. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Pop it open, so you strain it out, put the fruit on top. As soon as it's all poured out and the fruit's on top, that's when the clock will stop. Wow. How are you feeling? Look, pretty nervous. <laughs> <laughs> pretty, pretty nervous. What's Bianca? Was it you? Good friends with Bianca, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. What's yeah. her time there, Tommy? Right, let's have a look. She's twenty six, twenty six. So she's in front of Fawzi. Oh wow, yeah. well, right, well, well. Let's try and get you above Bianca. Twenty six. Oh. What was it? Twenty six. What? Twenty six. Twenty six. Twenty six. All right. Two, six, two, six. Get Bianca, we're coming for you. Kiss a good laugh. All right, let's get this mic out of the way. All right, here we go. Am I allowed to touch the ingredients prior to? No, we'll just move. Uh, hands, hands, no, I'm lucky hands back. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do three, two, one, go, and that's when you're going to go. All right, you ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, go. All the way to the top. Flip that bottle upside down. Good Here start. we go. Good, good start. start. Real good start. All the way to the top. 45 mils, second line down. If you going, overpour, it doesn't matter. Strong. She's she's going. Oh my goodness! This is. Oh, All right, get that going. top on. Bang, five oh, shakes, two, three, three, four, five. Okay, pop it open. Here we go, yeah, strain. Yeah, 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 yeah. Put the strainer on. Oh, no, oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> on top, on top, on top. Yes, fruit, it's <laughs> And now fruit, fruit, fruit. You yeah, get that fruit on top. Fruit on top. Bang, 29.99. Oh. God, that is, I thought that was 10 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, she's won a lottery ticket. <laughs> <laughs> you thought you were on here, dude. You this started off so good and then. Don't tell me that. Yeah, when you yeah. started off flipping the strainer, putting <laughs> <laughs> pancakes on Fuck. the right <laughs> 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 She's cooked the book. Oh, you, you would have 100%. That, that would have been at least two or three seconds of that yeah. fun oh, board. So Guys, good. don't tell anyone. <laughs> it's on the board. I'll tell you what, though. 29. Hey, will you sh- what do you feel like? That feels like that Justin Lane cocktail we met, Joel. Yeah. <laughs> 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 That's great. All right, Maddie, let's get All this right. reset and you're up. All right, Maddie, how you feeling? You ready? Feeling good. Let's feeling get the pumped. W. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're gonna go, we're gonna go on three, two, one, go. Get that mic right. anyway. Beautiful. All right. Three, two, one, go. Ice. Ice. 75 mils of mix. Fill her all the way up to the top. Tip that bottle upside down. Get it out nice and quick. Here we go. Fill to the top. Ice. <laughs> Short poured. You know what he's... <laughs> he's just going to be... Top. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> 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 oh, we went to kill. Sweeney's had some tequila. There it goes. Glass on, glass on, glass on. Shake it. One, One two, three, four, five. five. Pop that shit open. Pop it open. There he goes. Strainer, strainer, Flip strainer. Perfect cake. <laughs> strain it out. Strain it out. Oh, fruit on top. Fruit on top. Fruit, 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 fruit. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> there he goes. 33.80. Did I? With a shot of tequila on the way through. Did he, like just be, he just came last. Thank God he's good at rendering. But fuck. <laughs> that's how the bartenders do it. Can we just flare take a moment? The flare. That's a, that's a JL flare. That's a JL. One for you, one for me. Oh. Emma, twenty nine ninety nine on the wall. Pretty You're stoked. You're up there. Yeah. Yeah. Under 30 seconds. Great time. Yeah. How good. I, what was Maddie's 33 something? Yeah. We won't even talk about that. <laughs> 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 All 
<laughs> he gave you a shot on the way through. You saying Bolt? He was very, he was very um, considerate. So he was, he was, he was. was, was. Bonus seconds, but actually, I didn't get a drink. Kirsten, can I get a drink, please? Oh, why don't you <laughs> shake it up? I'll, no. I'll just have another margie. I think. Yeah. About this. Emma, I want to like I want to talk a little bit more about the PR stuff. Yeah, PR's of course. Like uh, so many people don't actually, or PR public relations people yeah. don't really understand what is involved, yeah. how deep it goes, the relationships. Yeah. What it actually is. Yeah. Uh, to be fair, I don't like to call it PR. What do you like to call it? Just like <laughs> it's like digital marketing now. Yeah. So like PR, when they say you know, I've, there's. In probably the two and a half, three years that I've owned the business, it'll be three years in September, October, I think I've had three call-ups about traditional PR. Yeah. It's important, I think, the old school PR for integrity as a brand and to be on in a magazine and for someone not to see the brand or have heard it on Instagram. Mm. They see it on Facebook, Facebook ads. And the next thing, if they see it in a magazine, it just gives, okay, a bit, there's a bit more trust. There's tradition. There's traditional PR, which is literally like magazine Correct. advertising, newspaper. Yeah, av- yeah, advertising in airline magazines. Correct. In, yeah, all those kind of things. Newspapers, um, billboards. Yeah. Like it, or putting out press releases on new products. Like yeah. it's just sent all those kind of things that traditional PR is definitely like in the last five, five, five yeah. to ten years is taken a massive turn, like yeah. a huge turn, I and think, for the better. Yeah, I I, I, 100%. I think if people don't have serve a – Serve me up. Serve, serve me up. <laughs> Justin Lane. Serve me up. I'll five. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that was how, – how, how good was your shake-up? How long <laughs> – what was her time? Outside. Yeah. Um, but I think, like, it's really important. Let's just talk about a brand like Telstra. Yep. They're not – it's not a cool brand. Like, no. it's, as in, like, there's nothing fun, there's nothing – so if, to have traditional PR is super important there. But when we are so as – we're evolving, it's so entrepreneurial and everyone's got a cool product, you just need to be online. I feel like traditional – people that still work in traditional PR are people who work for companies like Telstra. Yeah. Are yeah. there to put out fires. Yeah. Not actually do Correct. public relations as it used to – be. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. And I think, you know, influencers, they get a bad rap. They really do. Mm. It's like, uh, you know, you've got influencers in the world, pay, you know, all of those things. But you have to remember these people, it's now a job. They literally make the world, like, from, I think they make the world go round. Yeah. yeah and if you, people discru- yeah. that's how people discover new things now. And unfortunately, if you don't have it, you know, because, it, you know, my packages, you know, it costs to do it. Yeah. And absolutely. if you're not there, you, you, it's not like you're missing out, but you are because another brand's going to be there, whether it's your competitor or not. So I just think, yeah, this whole influencer world is so important and I think we just need to give it a better name than it has. Well, I think it's just the words being used the wrong way. I know, right? Like, like I – like I, when I had Ellie in here yep. from Elsa's house on life and I yep. was like, what do you refer to yourself as? She's like, well, I'm, I'm an influencer, but like Love it. I do re- – like she does recipe. Like a lot of them mm-hmm. have this other credibility, like they have um, other skills besides yep. literally taking photos or looking good in photos yeah. Yeah. that other people don't see. There's a lot of data and there's a lot of analytics totally. behind everything that they do. And that, and that's what exactly what you're saying about data analytics is so important because if I engage – let's say Mr. Consistent and you say come to me and go, look – we are doing this, that and the other. You need to get me 20 influencers. They need to be this age group, this look like, but we need everyone to have a different story. Mm. It's like at the end of the day, I am not going to see that anywhere else except Instagram. Yeah. So it needs to happen. Absolutely. So it's cool as. It's such a cool world. It's, I, it's, love it. I love it too. What a world we live in. I know. <laughs> I know. Even rendering. Like if Matt didn't have Instagram. Yeah. Or that channel, where would he be? There's true. Um, the other thing, like t- to the data point, is yeah. there's actually true representation of who you're talking to and how. Yeah. Like you would understand how many leads you get through a platform, right? Oh, where yeah. like where if you put an ad in a magazine, there's no true read on how many people have seen that magazine, where that That's magazine's it. been. Like right. there's a there's yeah. an old new old newspaper trick where they actually you pay for a certain amount of ads or you yeah. pay for a certain amount of prints in the newspaper, right? You pay. They produce 10,000 newspapers mm-hmm. and you pay per newspaper it goes in. But what the newspaper does is buys back the unused newspapers at a 10% rate or whatever it is. Mm-hmm. So you still pay full freight, 
but they might have only sold 20% Correct. of the newspapers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's why I don't like it because I am, again, I don't know if it's my o- OCD tendency, my clients will get a report every month. I will show them what they've spent and the data that's returned. Yeah. And whether that data, unfortunately, sometimes if it's a brand awareness strategy, you can't put a number on that. No, there's, there's no, val- dollar, there's no, there's no dollar, dollar, but there's dollar value. Figure, yeah. So I, I don't really like to do traditional PR because of that point. Yeah. And when I explain that to them, they're like, oh, my God, it's a whole new world. And the, the spend goes up, the leads yeah. go up. They, they yeah. can actually justif- like, they can justify spending the money. Totally. Because in a startup business, it's re- like you would understand, Matt, like, yeah, yeah. it's really hard to be like, oh, like I could spend this on this machine that's going to do all this work for me mm. and automate bits and pieces of my workload. Or I could spend that money on advertising yeah. and drive, you know, hundred thousand dollars worth more of contracts across yeah, the line it, exactly. yeah. and then in four months time i can afford the machine then yeah a lot yeah. easier versus yeah. stretching myself totally now for totally sure, for sure. so yeah. it's kind of like w- in terms of um like brands who do you work with mostly um so it's funny i how i started was a beautiful friend called yvette hess that owns esme skin minerals they have in the three years that I've literally, I worked for them and then they they were so amazing. They're like, this is you, girl. Take your wings and fly. Yep. Red Bull, basically. Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> Up away. Up and away. Up and away. And, yeah, I I guess that's just how it happened. I've got... Because you didn't study. You did, like, I didn't study to, yeah. and I just can't stand when, you know, and I'm hiring interns and I will always pay an intern. It's yeah. like your time is so valuable to me yeah. and my and my learning. customers and learning. Um, no, I didn't go to university. Um, I personally don't think it, it's that important anymore. I'm, I'm and we learned, it, we learned a thing the other day. It's not, what was it, babe? It's not who you know. It's not what you know. It's who, who knows, knows you. you. Mm. It's literally. And you know you what? Know? Uh, to the point of studying, you went and studied like you did an apprenticeship, right? Studied rendering, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah but like, <laughs> you, you did you have time. to do theory? Um, we did, something. yeah. So but like, how much had to go to but how much didn't know you, that. Yeah, but how much did you learn in theory besides OH and S and kind of stuff? But you yeah. actually learn absolutely no. physically Every, nothing about rendering. Literally on site, you learn everything on the job. I literally because I did yeah. a graphic design apprenticeship and I learned, I learned bits and pieces like the process and a bit, yeah. few bits and pieces. But everything that I learned that I use today was literally on the job. Like, there's nothing from yeah, school sure. that I was like, "Oh, this this made a big difference <laughs> in my career." Like, that's <laughs> what pisses me off, though. School, like, learn mm. real life. I wish I paid attention in accounting. You yeah, know? exactly. Right. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing pretty good, mate. <laughs> no, but I just feel like it's um, you learn all these things. Like, you buy. I remember mum like buying a ninety dollar calculator. Yeah. Like it's just what you just need to learn life. It's all about life skills. Yep. And, I, and I guess as you get older as well, you really find your niche in what you want to do. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I just don't think school and university is as important as what people make out to be. Absolutely not. And you've obviously, do, you said you stripped back the business a little bit. Yeah, so I have. Like, and I, I, to be fair, you know, it's is it just you now I've or actually is it? T- no, I've still got staff, but yeah. it's probably like the first time I've. Even no one even really knows. I've really scaled back. Matt's just, uh, yeah, it's just too hectic. Our lifestyle is not sustainable. Yeah, it, it's really not. And like you know, yes, money is amazing, but it it doesn't make you happy. Money does not. Yeah, no. money's not what drives me. That's you know, for sure. I mean, yeah, I you yeah. found my first grey hair the other day. I've like, <laughs> you know. got a few you can borrow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Emma told her mum, and she said, "Don't pull it out." Out one in the other, straight away walks there, boop. Yeah, they you just know? keep well, it's coming. It's only about this long, but, it, but yeah. that, like it's a um, it's a balance between you know, because you, you, you are still physically going to be doing that work for yeah, yeah, the yeah. rendering business, and you still yeah. you're not just going to cut your clients off, you're going to no. keep continuing on doing no, it. No, and that's exactly right. So, I've really scaled back in terms of my contracts are six or 12 months, yeah. And it was January to the financial year. Yeah. And I just was so tra- – I'm a very honest, transparent person. So I just said, hey, look, this is actually what we're doing. And our Project X, which literally launched last Sunday, yeah. Um, I just need to be there for us. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, when push comes to shove, my team can do it without me. Yeah. I'm there, I'm the people person, the meetings, the, you know, the reports and all that. Yeah. But I need to do Render X during the day. And Object X and Project X 
opportunities to, are rising. Yeah. Correct. You and I need fulfill to, those you know, opportunities. And even that, like I don't want him coming home from work and going, okay, we've got dinner, then we've got to sit and do three hours of admin. He needs to have a <laughs> life and surf. Yeah, that's, and that, that's the main thing, you know, like where I'm working all day, Emma's working on her business mm. all day. Like we were mentioning before, then we get home, we jump on the laptop, <laughs> we cook dinner, we jump back on the laptop, we go to bed, we wake up, I go to work, Emma goes to work. Yeah. We get home, we jump on the laptop. Where if Emma scales back a little bit, you know, by now she's learned a lot how to, you know, do the admin of my business. So she can smash it out during the day while she's doing her business and then we can get home, we can go for a nice walk like we used to. <laughs> Justin Lane. Get back. Just, just, just back to some, basics. I wasn't doing some walks that day, I was doing back to Justin Lane time together, you know. No. Back to basics, but it's hey? true. Yeah. It, it's back to basics. And that's, in the last year, that's what we've really tried to just, as much as our life is so hectic and I hate saying to people that, Oh, I hate saying I'm so busy. We literally have a jar in our kitchen underneath us oh here God, that yes. says busy on it. If you say busy, you have to put five <laughs> yes, bucks Yes, I in love it. that because it's not. it doesn't make you. So I'm just really trying to change that mm. and just be more us. I need to support him. Yeah. And he, he supports me from day one, but my work is not physical. Yeah. You know, so if I need to be there, I'll be there. Yeah. Because I know this is forever. Yeah, yeah. You know? Building a business. Hope so. <laughs> <laughs> December 7th. <laughs> okay. Michael Hill. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know what I mean. <laughs> I can do better than Michael Hill. No, mate. Talking about playing. fucking pressure. <laughs> no. There's absolutely. thought the speed test was a bit of pressure. <laughs> no. Fuck, I don't know. No. No, but we're awesome. And then, mate, uh, they're, like, you guys have got to a point where obviously you are, you've made the decision to be like, radio. we are, uh, we are saying the word busy too much. We're always, yeah. Yeah. we're not making yeah. time for each other. Your thing's taken off, mate. Like you, like at what point did you go, I'm going to um, stop drinking VB, wearing <laughs> footy shorts and pluggers and go, fuck, I'm like, there's a real market for boutique rendering. I, I think it was, look, from. Did you used to wear footy shorts? And I never wore footy shorts, <laughs> never wore pluggers. So when I was younger, I was. Doing my apprenticeship and stuff like yep. that. And my older brother, Jamin, he had a clothing company yep. called WDA. And um, I was doing Modeling. doing my job. Uh, no, I wasn't doing that. But, <laughs> but anyway, he, he was doing that and I loved that. And, you know, I was sort of jumping on with him and I loved like creating stuff yep. and seeing people wear it. And um, it was just sort of what I was into. And I was just rendering to make money. Yep. And just to pay my rent. Just doing and all fence, that. like rendering brick fences and houses. Rendering brick and fences, all that kind you of know, stuff, rocking yeah. up to a high rise, rendering a wall with, yep. you know, 10, 50 year old men smoking ciggies in my face. Yeah. And <laughs> going straight to the pub after work. Talking about how much the they hate their life and shit. Yeah. 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 It's not a vibe. And um, I always knew. So I saw, I saw the direction from the start. You know what I mean? Like, yep. I was like, it's either this way or that way, you know. You can work for someone and you can just mm. get on the piss every day and just have a full messed up life. Yeah. But no offence to, you know, anyone out there. Renderers out there that love I sort of saw it. I saw it all and I was working with some people that were doing some pretty bad shit. Yeah. And um, it, some, sometimes it was scary. I was like, really like, is this, is this what I'm doing? Is this you know where I'm, I mean? is this like, the life I'm heading down? Is this like, the like path the, I'm heading is down? Is this yeah. the path I'm heading down? But I was like, you know, like I always said to myself, I'll run a rendering crew and, you know, be, have them work for me. Yeah. But I'm lucky enough to have found that niche market. And now I have, you know, any renderer that's under the age of 35 on the Gold Coast working, working for, for me you. because they want to work for that brand. They want to work for someone that's doing something cool and they want to work for someone that's doing something different. So. You, you've literally made <laughs> like a... um You've made a brand out of it. Like oh, it's, it, so it's, cool. it's it's so like man, it's so cool to see yeah, because cheers, man. Thank it's you so much. like it is a beautiful thing to see somebody take a, a rendering style of business, turn it into a boutique market, do really cool stuff, and then but also um, how do I explain this? Like people want to work for you purely based on brand and the work you're doing, yeah. They're not just to earn money and labor and mm. those kind of things. Like they actually want to work for your business yeah. and work on the things you want to do. I think that too, like lucky. even the team that he has, you know, I do the books on, you know, pays on Monday and all of that. Everyone that we've hired, no one smokes cigarettes. You know, I'm not saying everyone's eating fruit and yogurt for, I mean, I make that oh, for you. It's definitely days, a meat pie and a rat coffin for smoke over. No, <laughs> that, but, that's but chalky milk. you know, it's, <laughs> a, it's a, you know, I'm not saying you have to be pr professional 24-7, 
But if you're getting over $100,000 contracts, mm. I'm sorry, when a builder's on site or a professional developer or whatever it is, you need to have, you need to yeah. be looking good yeah. and working good. Yeah. I, I always make sure because my colour's black. All the boys are always in uniform unless we need always. to go. Unless yeah. we need to go on a high vis and we yeah. chuck the yellow and the orange on them. Like, <laughs> you look <laughs> sexy, Bob, baby. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, all the boys are always looking good. Yeah, you know, it's awesome. Wearing wearing the uniform, you treating before, everyone with respect. You were like, like the common thing is like renderers were at the bottom of the food chain. Yeah, like yeah. and not like I feel like you kind of moved your way to the top of the food chain. You're sitting on the same level as. You know the bespoke builders, like the bespoke Aww. builders, want to work with you, that's and they yeah, want like awesome. the yeah. restaurants want to work with you, and that all those kind of things. So like, and I just, I just want to pass that down. You know what I mean? Like, I want no matter what trade it is, whether you know it's a tire like mm. concrete, like I said before, those trades. If you're young and you're into it, ri- it, rise up. You know what I mean? And we need to get even younger people. You know, we need those like. 16, 17 year old kids that want to drop out of school. Yeah. To jump in and not just go hang out on the streets and. Wear a bum bag, like and I jump did, on a rendering I did, crew. Let's yeah, go. I did two days of brickies labouring. Where there's one point that? where I like, I was like, I was jobless. <laughs> I needed money. I was yeah. like, I'm desperate. And I did two days, and I was like, I can't hang out on site with, um, like there's this like. I was working in the back of Varsity somewhere and there's, there's this negativity on site. <laughs> like it's like this yeah. like this toxic environment. With, yeah. I'm not saying all building sites like this. We like Jeremy had. Like his mate, um, Danny is an amazing builder and he's he, all these same sort of thing as you are developing, like amazing crew, all the workmen are really cool. They're really professional. Yeah. It's kind of like this next wave of um, tradies, I, I guess, love it. V- versus um, the old school, yeah, footy short wearing. Yeah. Because pe- you talk about concreting, um, brickies, rendering, um, even chippies, like it is a very labor intensive job yeah, and it, you, it takes work. a toll on, it, it takes work. a toll on your body. Yeah. Big time. That's for sure. Yeah, I even say to him, let's go to the gym, babe. Like I'm like, my whole goal this year is fitness. And he's like, he gets his Apple Watch out and he's like, how many calories have you done? (laughs) And I've done 30 fucking Ks of walking. (laughs) And then he's like, look at that. And he just, he literally beats my calories in a day purely because he's labouring. Like, you know what I mean? It's just, it's just physical labour. I wouldn't have it any other way. I don't know if it's because I'm used to it, but like... I love being on the tools. He I love being I've never, there with I've the never boys. heard you complain. People ever. always say to me, they go, Oh, mate, you're still on the tools. You're on the tools till I die. Love it, yeah. Like, oh, wow. It's okay, get Dell. <laughs> what does it mean? <laughs> what do you say, mate? Get- so, get rich or die trailing. <laughs> <laughs> that Dude, is the so <laughs> far out. That is get rich or die trailing. He's going to get a tattoo like that. <laughs> When the when we can go back over to Bali, I'm getting it done, <laughs> Get it done over there. It's He's tattooed, less he will not. He's such a. <laughs> yeah, I don't have a tattoo. No tattoo. He's so tattooed. At what point did you go like fuck like because you did um the like I've seen you do like really nice stores like was there Dior you, yeah did the Dior store you've done um rickshaws for those who don't know rickshaws is like. No. Pinnacle. Yeah. Bug roll. Of, yeah. It's a, it's a, it's had a restaurant, I'm pretty sure, but like yeah. it's one of the best restaurants on the Gold Coast and you, they chose you to read, do the inside of that. Yeah. Like for people like that to come on, how do you, how do you win contracts like that? Like how do you, do you pitch? Do you, um, they come well, to you or? Well, to be honest, a lot of them, Emma knows a lot of people on the Gold Coast. Connections. It's connections. You know what I mean? Like Emma is friends with Nick that owns Rick Shaw's and I guess Emma pushes I push that. On I push that contract. Yeah, and um, <laughs> he saw it through that, and then I come in and I met him, and I think it was Easter, Easter long weekend. It was a Friday. It's and we a went, funny we story. We went in there. We Sweeney's a, out there making promises for everyone. I'm and like, yeah, no, they're going to keep them. <laughs> he's <laughs> trying to do an Easter egg hunt, and I'm like, Dale, get on the trail. <laughs> we, we went in there and talked to Nick, and he's like, "This is what I want," and showed me on his phone like a photo on Pinterest, and I was like, "Cool, I'll get them done on Monday." And, and he we, goes, "No," he said, "I need them done sooner," and Matt goes. Oh, like, you know, he's just been working like a dog. Yeah. yeah. And Emma looked at me and she's like, let's do it now. Look at this. What are we doing now? Like we're going to the beach. So straight away within like an hour. We're at the showroom. Went to the showroom, banged up like 10 samples, sort of similar, different finishes in the same tone. It was amazing. Brought him back and it was just like, wow. And it happened. And he's like, all right. And then sort of COVID came on and they had to close down. Yeah. I, I wasn't expecting it. And he goes, you got a two week window. Let's do it. That's so cool. And then we did a section. Mm. He's like, yeah, let's do a little more. He's like, let's do a little more. 
Next minute, we did yeah, the whole entire restaurant. So Next minute, Nick was rendered cool. <laughs> in the wall, so trying, <laughs> to, <laughs> trying to get the bug roll. <laughs> yeah. Love the guy, like Nick is the best. That's I'm, really cool. I'm so yeah. stoked that he got oh, the opportunity to do that. And it's, ama- it's, it's so cool to see also, like, yes, this decorative rendering has come about a long way in the last, mm. I'd say probably, what, year and a half, two years. But it's so cool for... Them to, be, you know, it's not, you know, square meter rate, it's not cheap either. They're so cool to go, I love what you do. Your team's amazing. Mm. Like, to believe in that too. How fun is it for you, though, having a bit like, oh, it's awesome. or being in a business, <laughs> but like having a business that um, it's kind of like a first to market, right? Like, yeah. business, like that's what we love, like being first to market yeah, in whatever it. we're doing. That's and it, then yeah. you kind of show the way and you lead the way yep. and you, there's nothing more fun because you're not copying anybody else. There's yeah. no rules. You set yeah. the rules. You set yeah. the That's you, s- you well set said. the you set yeah, the expectation. So well yeah, you s- yeah, yeah, yeah. And don't worry, I've been on the travel before. What have I done? <laughs> what have I done? I've cut in or something like that. No, I don't no, know. no. You, you did a table for check the high visual. <laughs> I, I just get the yeah. I love it. I love it. it. But if that has to on. work, no. oh, is it well? Okay. Oh wow, that is escalated. But no, it's so good to like. If he's working on a Saturday, I'll be with him. Like, what's yep. just? I think the juice is worth the squeeze right now. Yeah, I'm 28. Matt's 29. Why not work right so hard right now? Establish yourself. Yeah. And and go, for go 35 to 40. Go. We can actually not sit back and relax, but we've set something up accordingly so we can live this life that we live once. And you got you've um. So the object X, which is mm. like the furniture part of the business, which is doesn't act, um, doesn't entail you being on site and you yeah, mani- you're it, actually manufacturing yeah. furniture pieces. Like yeah. jump on, is it at render on Instagram at render yeah, X yeah. or at object X? So yeah, at object dot X at render dot X. Have a look, yeah. Yeah. and it like the the pieces you're creating are beautiful. Thank is there you. is there anything else out there like that, or is this kind of like another one of those first to market? <laughs> First, first, of market. first of market, yeah, yeah. definitely. I, I guess it was funny when it started. Um, it was, it was. Were you like, I want this table, I want this? No, <laughs> you've got the background story. It's actually funny. So, hang on. So, when Let's is go. it? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay Justin. Lam- okay, okay, <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh. Okay. Oh wow, we could be here all day. We well, finish in an hour. Wrap it up. <laughs> um, it happened literally um, last year in January. So, yeah, last year in January, Matt said, oh, I was back to work. And Matt yeah. said, oh, shit, the builders aren't back to work. I'm meant to start. It's like 5th of Jan. 5th of Jan. He goes, I sa- he goes I'm just going to make some tables. We'll put some render on it and I'll do some things and we'll see how we go. Yeah. I was back at work on that. And I, at that time, we just bought a house in December. Yep. And in January, people were at our house. So Matt just wanted to get out because he was, yeah. He said, the builders aren't back. Let's see what we can create. In one week, I'm not joking, I, I came to the showroom and these pieces were like jaw-dropping. I was like, babe, I'm – what? You said it literally in seven <laughs> – like, I can't even speak right now. In seven days, he had created things that I was like, this is a whole market. Like, yeah. we can take this because so many people also we get so many inquiries per day. Can you come to WA? Can you get this, that, that, you know? And we really, we don't want to do that because we're here and booked out now. Yeah. Um. So I said to Matt, we can take this to market. Like, and it becomes it. a national global. Yeah. yeah. And then yeah. people, yeah. if they don't want it a wall now, they've got it, you know, in their dining in their room table or kitchen, you know. So, but again, if we take Matt off the wall, we want these pieces to, you know, they take a bit of time to make. Yeah. So there is that catch-22, but I guess that's how it started. We didn't launch. Matt made them in January. We literally didn't launch till September 1st because yeah. we don't do anything until it's perfection. Yeah. I wanted the logo website. I just wanted someone, if someone came along to the website, I wanted them to think that we were around for 30 years. Yeah. I wanted them to have that trust and integrity. And she it does took it a, so well. <laughs> thanks, Bob. It took a little bit to kick off yeah. because they're not cheap. Yeah. But now... They're like we literally, literally sold ju- ten need, tables. People two need weeks to ago. jump on and have a look because they're stunning oh. pieces of furniture. Like that, it's um, I, I it popped up on my feed and I was like, holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> and I, honestly, oh, I clicked cool. on the price and I was like, holy shit! Yeah. <laughs> Hard to pay. Yeah. Yeah. But they're like they're yeah. kind of those pieces that you when you you're talking to a different market. You're yeah. not talking to people that are shopping at IKEA and Kmart and fitting yeah, exactly. out houses. We, you're talking to interior yeah. designers, totally. people that are paying, people that are 
paying somebody to fit out their home or like yeah. style their home or those kind of things or they want that they bought their forever home they want that very special piece yeah that's it it's yeah. really cool and it mm. mate, it allow, it's pretty cool because it allows you to be like have now you've probably now gone fuck rendering all the walls and stuff now i can just sit in the garage and make these oh, I'd, I'd, I'd love to do that but i'm way too attached to render it yeah but <laughs> i've got the boys you know the good thing about it is what we put on the wall is what we put on the table yeah, yeah. and what we do off site and on site like it's all the same thing so i can set up my boys to do it yep i just have to come up you know the brains behind it come up with the finishes come mm. up with that sort of stuff but like i said before i'm still banging them out every day yeah do you, what do you, where do you get the inspiration for like to make like those pieces like there are it's it's more just o- over the years of doing walls for people and you know like different a, shapes a, that a you're client, rendering to a client like, would approach me and go yeah you know, we want this feature wall and i'll be like all right come into my showroom and i have like x y and z on the wall but they're not going to walk in and just go i want that yeah so they'll go i'll go show me show me like your design plan and stuff like that they'll show me what their kitchen island bench top is yeah show me what their tiles are their curtains bring it all into my showroom and I'll go, look, let's add this color into that. It's not going to be like this random mm. object in the corner and we can just sort of tie everything together. It's a lot of custom, and I think. From doing, it sounds like a from, lot of custom. From work. doing that over the years on the walls, you know, I took a piece out of everything mm. and my favorite finishes and put them into the first yeah. sort of collection. But yeah, and then our next collection was with wonderful Kel Howard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and, yeah, she's just incredible. Yeah. And it, it's just so good to... You know, when Matt is busy and I'm doing my own thing, it's actually nice to get an interior designer like her at her caliber to go, look, what are we thinking? And Matt goes, yep, that, and it just works. And you see the, like, people see the value in someone like that coming into your brand and helping you create pieces. Like, I've watched the promo videos and stuff. There is a real connection there and you can tell by the pieces that you've created that it is like... It's I just so. like you've sat there and you've yeah. like it's all yeah. really well we, thought we out. We got along so well. Oh, like when, so when well. we, you know, like I think you went to lunch at Rick Shaw's with with Kel. Probably. And then I finished work <laughs> on a Friday, <laughs> and Emma's like, "Come in, come in." And I'm in my work clothes. I'm like, "I'm not going to go to Rick Shaw's in my work clothes." Mm. And this is just after I did it, and I get like a hallway pass, so yeah, <laughs> locked down in my work clothes with everyone in their tuxedos, and um, <laughs> sat down, and Emma put the proposal to Kel mm. and she was like, that's what I want to do. And um, okay. her two cents, Emma's two cents and mine, we created probably my most favourite looking piece of... Weird objects ever. Have you got the pieces in your... Like, do you guys have pieces in your house? Um, so... Or do you just make so many that you can't no, keep up? That you can we, <laughs> we hand make to order. Yeah. And every email is like, thank you so much for supporting small business. That's cool. You know, we are creating, you know, and we show every client that purchases, We I get their number. It's that relationship. I send yeah. them messages along the way. And like that to them is just like... I yeah. just fall off their chair you, you if they're sitting on you, one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you show a lot of process and stuff how you how you operate and how yeah. you actually manufacture yeah, things. Yeah, sure. so I think that's I think that's also like behind anything though. Everyone wants to see a process, personality and process. And per- yeah, and you know even when Matt's doing something on the wall, even for Enderex, whatever object X, the amount of traction even on his Instagram is crazy to see like an, a finished product. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And people love seeing the during. You know what I mean? Like, Absolutely. I think. If, when I post something that's like me uh, me and my boys doing the work, it gets way more traction than a just a finished, finished product because they yeah. can see, mm. holy shit, that's actually like how we did it. Yeah. Or like they just see a finish and go, oh, that's cool. You know, it could be Oh, yeah, can I have on, this finish? Can wall, I have that? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Really cool. Mm. And congratulations, guys. That's like – what, like both of Render X, Project X and the PR business, like Thanks. in the game PR, like it just feels like a perfect harmony of um, two businesses to come together. Right time, right place. <laughs> yeah. It's anyway, awesome. we're going to get another drink. Yeah, we're we gonna are. come back and I wanna, I've got some, uh, I've got some questions in the show. We're going to play the shake up game. Got right. some questions for you. Yeah. Perfect. But I've got some other stuff I want to tap into here as well. Great. Let's go. Cool. Lego. Lego. This episode is sponsored by our production team. They're working around the clock using the freshest ingredients to make our delicious cocktail mixes for you guys to enjoy. Now back to the episode. All right, we're going to play a little game, the shake up card game. <laughs> Never have I ever pack. Oh my God. <laughs> Never have I. I reckon you can have a good story, Sweeney. <laughs> <laughs> I back that. Good, I back good, that. good couple stories. Oh God. Who wants to go first here? I've got a, I've chosen two cards for each and you're going to choose. Who wants to go first? You can take it. Okay. Take the lead. First. All right. Uh, that one. 
That one? Mm, oh, my God, whatever. You choose <laughs> I'll, it for I'll me. You it. choose yeah, it for yeah, me. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Applied for reality be- re- reality TV speak. show. <laughs> reality TV show. How strong did you make this bloody evidence? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Dude, you look cute, um, mate. Yeah, yeah, I know, right? <laughs> um, yes, we, ha- we have. Actually, yeah, we have. We have. That's right. Uh, we it's actually really strong. Uh, right? <laughs> oh God! This one, Tommy. This one. Tommy hooked the boys. Yeah. Uber. Tommy, Tommy. Uber I love, I love sours. <laughs> yeah, not much. It's Friday. <laughs> it's Friday. Let's get down. Um, yes, we have. We applied for the block two years ago. Our video was lit. It had Fisher song in it, and we were dancing. <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight, or one. Oh, yeah, two, that's it. Let's three, go. Four, five, <laughs> six, seven, eight, 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 one, two. Go like, it. Okay, that was exactly what it was. Like. So but no, good. we did, and we got to the final that. four. Oh, fuck, so close. In, I don't know. in Queensland. Final in four Queensland. Queensland. Yes, yeah, sorry. Yeah. They picked someone from. Yeah, they, they, yes. Uh, and it was an awesome experience. Um, because we had to go through like the interview process, we didn't get picked, but no sweat off our bat. I wanted to punch the guy. No, AG <laughs> 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 South. No, but it was. I know just, you're watching. <laughs> <laughs> Stay tuned, baby. You. Yeah, no, but it was. Um, it was fun, and it was like, yeah, it was cool to think that. It could have I'd loved it. To, like I don't watch a lot of TV, but I reckon you guys would have fucking killed it on there. I Fuck! Think, I think we've actually made know. it now with our project decks in our <laughs> yeah, house, yeah. so it's like it is what it is. I can just imagine you just having confrontation, the, the confrontation on there, just oh, being like, no. <laughs> "This little Scott, European, you and Scott Cam just going oh, at it." Come here, Keithy. <laughs> Wood watch. Yeah. Wood watch. <laughs> Scott <laughs> Cam. I'm, I'm, so, I'm sort of glad it didn't happen because it would have been 2020. Yeah, that and that was the and best year the of your year of, both of our businesses. Yeah, so right. everything happens for a reason. Absolutely. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but it was. I have to actually show the. It was a great. I want to say we're going to yeah. show me the video after yeah. this. All right, Matty. All right, let's turn. do it. Let's go. Any, many, mighty. Had a surprise party thrown for me. Oh, fancy that! I actually have. So, my twenty seventh. I twenty eighth. Twenty eighth. Yeah, twenty eighth. Yeah. Oh, wow. So. 28th, Emma threw a surprise party for first me. Year, first year dating. First mm. year dating. Went all was, out. Yeah. Went to the so top, don't stop. <laughs> Emma, Emma said we're going to our friend Samantha's engagement party. Yeah. Oh, this is fun. And then um, she took actually took me down to Fingal in the morning because a lot of my friends were up from Tarthra. Yeah. She didn't want me to run into anyone. See him in the cafe. And she, yeah. also, she also knew how white I was. <laughs> and she likes me way better with a tan. So she literally tan, took baby. me down to Fingal, laid me on the beach and said, Oiled, yeah. just tan. <laughs> So I laid down there, I was tanning, went for a surf. It was cold, didn't wear my wetsuit because I was getting a tan. <laughs> anyway, walked into Alfred's yep. in Mermaid Beach. And, um, but you were pissed off with me because well, I yeah, walked so in front. We were remember? walking to the front door and Emma ran off and went in. Like 10 Because they were going to go through two one surprise. Yeah, I want to yeah. be in the video. And, yeah. and he goes, why are you walking I, away from I me? I nearly turned around because I'm like, I'm going to an engagement party with Emma. We're holding hands and she's just running. And I'm just like. She's left And me. I'm like, <laughs> and I walked around the corner, I looked in, I was just like, no. no Every then, single Tom, Dick and Harry yeah, was there. That's it. Was, it. it Is that the good. saying? That's, yeah, every that Tom, Tom, Dick, and Harry, yeah. <laughs> but she but had, they're all the same she person. Did, <laughs> she, she did another little one for me this year. So Last year. Last year, sorry. So on my 29th, um, we were just went to cruise for the day. Mm. We went out for brekkie, came home. and I've then never had a surprise party. <laughs> I'm jealous. <laughs> we, we went down to the beach and Emma bought me a foil. Yeah, like yeah. A foil. yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. I was on the beach, went down, grabbed that, went home. I'm sitting in my bed and I hear this. Doof, 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 doof in the distance. 10 a.m. Emma's like, what's that? Elsewhere. I walk, I walk outside <laughs> so onto my balcony. I look out. Limo. like stretch limo pulls up with all my mates, like drinking fireball, just jumped out of it. And Emma's like, we're taking your foil. We're going to Harley Clifford's house up in um, Hope Island. And so um, I hired a boat sick. and he yeah, just yeah. uses his new foil. And That's cool. I think oh, birthdays. She surprises the shit out of me. I so. love birthdays. That's well, like, not, I don't care about my, but, but like I just spoiling him rotten. There's favorite. nothing better than like, giving somebody love presents. It. presents Look at that birthday, face, yeah. mate. Are you kidding? <laughs> Making people smile. Dream. Eh? Uh, Dream boat. Yeah, good. Oh, not me. Brownie points are on the board. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I've got to perform. <laughs> Speaking of, what's next for you guys? Because I know you launched something 
pretty recently. I think you mentioned it just before. It's Project X, which is yes. Um, you've just told me before you came on air, you, you're actually moving out because it's mm. getting a bit hackers. Mm. What's going on? What are you guys doing? So we bought our house, our first house in December. That was our 2020 goal. Yep. Um, we bought it uh, in December. We congratulations. Moved in. It's no easy. Fa- it's no easy feat on the Gold Coast. Yeah. No, we <laughs> and being self-employed. Yes. Yeah, oh no, my god. The that is the hardest. It's so hard. It's like work harder. No, we'll work harder again. Yeah, I've known for two years. Is that a PT world? No, but yeah. So we or we knew that we are renovators. We love stuff. We, we're quite. Um, with our fashion and just we're probably a bit eccentric people. Pull your mic up a little bit. Oh, sorry. Give Ascent- people what they want. Give us people <laughs> what they want. Hey, guys, it's Emma here. No, um, no but we, we are eccentric people and we wanted to buy Reno and yep. create something that is one of a kind. I don't think we wanted to create like Project X or another entity. It's not a, bu- it's not a business, but yep. we wanted to show people that it's not just another Hamptons home. Yep. It's not just paint up, send it back, paint it white. It's yep. not just a Band-Aid reno. We do things properly yep. and we want to document that you can do it. People um, love, like uh, the home DIY thing is like. Huge. It's huge. Like you go on Pinterest. You oh, go on my Instagram. God. Yeah, it's popular. And I, th- I quite enjoy watching people's journey from buying a shack to turning it into something really beautiful yeah. and that that process so yeah and i guess i guess the the <coughs> name project like this is not our it's not going to be our first this is going to be first one yep. we don't know if we're going to flip it we probably will fall in love and maybe the hard work will probably stay for six months but the market now you know as well you know we were like why hard don't we hard to say no right <laughs> we, we'll put another x on the end of it why not <laughs> confusing enough and yeah project x was kind of born yeah um so we're just going to document along the way our personalities. Um, our house is going to be very unique. Yeah. And it's at, what's the Instagram handle that people can check out? It's at at our, at our project.x. There you go. Jump yeah. on and have a look because I looked at the renders last night and it's very cool. It's yeah. so we, cool. We can't wait to do it. And the house is called Ruin X. So in a nutshell, we've got our project X. Yep. Projects and then, along the way. And then we're going to do this project, the next project. And instead of, you know, Starting up an Instagram for the house called Ruin X. Yep. We can sort of capitalize on doing this one. So Project X does Ruin X. Yeah. The next one they do Emma X. Oh, yep. wow. And we yeah. keep it in okay. that same way. <laughs> Pretty short house. I haven't told you about Hey, I'm doing the strategy. Yeah. Now. I don't know what the ceiling height will be, but it's probably miniature. <laughs> <laughs> and you guys you guys have been living in there yeah, we have. up but until it, but now. But literally, it literally just started two yeah. days ago. Two days yeah. ago. But okay. we can't believe how quick they're moving. Like, oh, it's, my it's God. It's smashed down and the pool's getting dug. Like, yeah. It's yeah. The house so, is shaking. Super exciting. And like the, the style that we're going with it, it's like no other. So- we sort of we have we're very like minded. Yeah, we sense. are. We're so like minded. We are. I feel like you guys work together on things, and then that's what yeah. shows in the it's work. Great. And what yeah. we want out of a house is no style that mm. has the name. Like it's sort of like, well, what do we call this? It's not Palm Springs. It's not like Tampans, this. It's, it's not, not that. Well, yeah. Yeah. But we sort of created our own style for this one, and we're calling it a modern ruin. Yep. So everything is sort of like um, sort of beige, bone colour, aged. There's going to be like rough render on the outside with like creepers crawling up. Yep. But then the inside will be like smooth and polished with like. Curves, curved, arches, arches, niches. Really soft. It's and then freak. like copper tapware. Yeah. Like yeah. It's so, it's so cool. And we've really enjoyed that process because I feel like because it's not, you know, when you have a business, it's like, okay, we've got to hit these figures. Then we're going to hit these figures. Yeah, you know. It's the opposite. It's now, the opposite. Just, yeah. Now it's our actual, like, yes, we've got passions, but this is a passion project. Yeah. And, yeah, we're pumped. Any, uh, next thing I want to ask is, like, have you guys had any hurdles where, like, we have lots of, um, I guess, younger people who listen to this podcast, 18 to, like, yep. 25, that are yeah, yeah. just starting businesses or, like, things that you wish you had have known before – like where Get you are Get a good now. accountant <laughs> from the start. <laughs> from the start. I feel like that you're. If you're really good at something, uh, to that point, I think if you're really good at something, your time is best spent yeah, on exactly doing the good things you're really yeah. good at. Yeah, I guess is 
no matter what, you're going to have – life is ups and downs every day and I think people – have different stresses and kind of measure success and stress on a different thing because of their own journey. But some people measure success in Instagram likes, some people measure success correct. in dollars in their bank account. Exactly. Yeah, All those everything's different, different, but I just feel like if you like something, just stick with it. Definitely. If you've got the passion, that's the main thing. Passion is drive. Yeah. Yeah. And just be your authentic self. No Just bullshit, eh? No, but we are so no bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. We are like, you know, even like when we met, I just knew like, you know, I know I'm going to be with this person for the rest of my life. And it's not, it's not the looks, it's not, you know, it's all of that. But you just create a team environment and we are such that. Like I don't care about the engagement or the marriage. We are, I just know that we ha- are just perfect for this and we just get along so well and just make sure that again back to this just have you know the right support and team around Mm. you whether they're not in your business or not family friends people have got to just love what you do and you've got to do it too and like you're from your point like you have a huge personality. Oh, mate, like, too big. <laughs> Tone it in this room, very small. Very small, mate. Like it's sound brew. But like how important. Yeah. Can like you hear me? Got, like have we got the soundboards yeah. in here. Oh, yeah, okay. Just testing one too. Dents, yeah. in the, dents in the carry. But like how important, pe- like we talk about it in this business all the time, how important it is to um, portray personality. It is. And that's what customers, people engage with is, People personality is what brand is, mm-hmm. not mm-hmm. definitely mm-hmm. not necessarily. And I think you guys do a really good job at that. Thank you. How do you how do you guys keep it up? Like, do you is it? Oh, how do you do it? I, I don't. Yeah, it's funny that you say that. I know that you can even ask my mum and dad. I've had this energy since I was literally born. It's lit. It's in my blood. I can see that. And it, there's there's a point where there's passion and there's ego. And we, they just scrap that because ego is just feral. Like yep. I just can't. You just got to be yourself, be authentic. Obviously, you know, the upper hand of having this out there personality is that I have energy and I get shit done. Yep. But then, you know, I know that, you know, my partner fourth hand is just the opposite in terms of that and he calms me down and like – it's just the team. I think you do a really good, I, like you guys do a really good job of both personalities though. Like that's the number one thing is how do you, like for somebody who's doesn't have as big a personality, how do you portray Matt's personality across to his customers, the clients? He, he's just so calm, friendly, professional. <laughs> Getting emotional. <laughs> no, but Dude. he's just, he's so... And to this day, and I'm not joking with you in in friends, family, business, I have not heard a bad word about Matt. Yeah. He's just the friendly giant and it's just, it's so, I'm so lucky to be with someone that has, no, it's so true (laughs) though. It's just so cool to, we're both own businesses but believe in each other. Yeah. I'm actually getting emotional now. (laughs) No, but it's it's a beautiful thing. I honestly like I'm I'm this, <laughs> honestly the it's same. It's actually so like, true. My wife did like a seminar the other day with yeah. um our warehouse system, and I was like, she was like talking about the business stuff, and I was like, oh fuck, I was like, I know. But, like you listen to them talking, you listen to yeah. them, like, and I'm like, I'm just so proud of yeah. that person. But also equally, it's about um, it's just genuine, like it's being so genuine. genuine. Yeah. But it's hard. It's hard for people who are slightly, I guess, a little bit introverted or doesn't have big personalities to mm. get on their Instagram or social channels mm. and push it out across. Like I can't imagine you love getting a camera in selfie mode and being no, like, no, I, 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 I I'm more of a no, no speaker. I'm yeah. just <laughs> the product and talking. I agree. Oh. But then there's the, the other point, right, where you're extroverted and mm. then people go, oh, you're right. I met you in real life. You're so much nicer or you're so much, yeah, yeah. you, you know, that. so it's like, like I, I just, I don't. I just don't care because I know my core values and my core friends and my core family and that's all that matters to me. And it's just we are so busy. Again, I hate that word but you just – Yeah, five bucks, I'm I'm done. (laughs) But you just just got to remember like why you're here and why you're doing what you you love to do. Absolutely. Yeah. So good. Pretty cool. 
thank you guys so much for coming in. I really appreciate it. Like, it's really cool to hear your story. It's really cool to understand a little bit more about, because like, you guys are very intertwined in the way. So, <laughs> so you're, yeah, intertwined. You're like, you're, and yeah. like I'm, I'm the same. And there's lots of people out there who don't understand how couples work together. How this business has a lot of, even our business has a lot of friends. And yep. every, like this yeah. business feels like family. Yeah. And some people just don't understand how they can work no. with their partners and those kind of things. Yeah. Or they, they butt heads, but then at home they're so like, it's really. Ex- it's really cool to show that Thank it can you. work and those things. Yeah, can it's, it's it's not it's not perfect. You just got you just got to kiss and make up. So <laughs> if, you, if you hold a grudge, yeah, that's yeah. when. It that's can get actually in one thing that Matt's so great about is we will never go to bed angry. That's awesome. That's cool. never yeah. go to bed you angry. Just shake it off. It's gonna come. Taylor down. Swift, <laughs> shake it off, baby. Shake it off, baby. Shake it off. Honestly, right. thank you guys so much for coming. I Absolute really appreciate it. Pleasure. So much for love us. hearing your story. Love you I guys. Love everything that you guys do. It's really yeah. cool. It's awesome. Keep up the good work. Cheers. Cheers to the Appreciate cocktails. it. Happy Thanks Friday. So Actually, oh, yeah. before we go, oh. where can they follow you guys? Oh, wow. At, what at, business? Oh, <laughs> there's at in the game's been hacked. <laughs> so don't I know, fall. but I but am talking to you'll, IG. You'll have, it, back. you'll have it back by the time this episode comes Correct. out. Correct. Um, at in the game PR. Or at. Emma Louise Victoria. At Emma Louise Victoria, at, Mam- at Matt Jamison, at render.x, at object.x, at our project.x. All the, all the X projects are both Too in many our bio. X's, man. Oh, my God. Yeah, they're in our God. bios. Jump they're in online. our bios, baby. Jump online, give them a follow, give them a oh, like, thank buy you. a table. Get yeah. a wall rendered. <laughs> get, get some PR. Get some PR. Get some digital marketing. Get some digital marketing. Get some, digital marketing. Get some Reno <laughs> tips. Bob's your uncle. <laughs> Have a cocktail. All seven. And, uh, yeah. And Are you down nine. at the local? Yeah. We'll see you. Justin Lane. We'll see you. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you, Justin Lane. Thank you guys so much wow. for coming Cheers, in. Really guys. appreciate it. All Thank right. you. Woo! Cheers. Thanks for having us. That's today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. You know the drill. Like, subscribe, leave a review. Go show the Shake Up some love and stay connected. Don't forget you can watch all of our episodes on YouTube. Also, jump over to our Shake Up Cocktail Gang Facebook page where you can find out who's coming up on the podcast. And if you've got questions for them, I'll ask the bloody questions. You can also use the code SHAKEUP for 10% off on mrconsistent.com.au. Thank you so much for listening. And just remember, shit, that's fresh.